So this is my dream setup. A MacBook Pro 15, an external GPU, and with Mac running both macOS and Bootcamp Windows, I get this perfect setup that's good for both work and gaming. Well, not that simple. I almost got my MacBook destroyed trying to achieve that. See, back then I didn't want to spend another fortune on a new monitor, I just want to make the best out of the built-in display on the MacBook. But without an external monitor brings a lot of issues, the least of which is actually the performance loss due to the bandwidth limitation. But I can live with performance loss, I don't mind a few more minutes more of video exporting or a few frames lower in gaming. The real issue is in Windows. We all know right at this moment macOS Mojave has this perfect seamless plug and play eGPU support if you're using MD cards. In my case I'm using a Vega 56 running in a Mantis Venus dock. But Bootcamp Windows is completely another story. The situation is in Windows Apple disables the integrated GPU which prevents the system from recognizing the eGPU. For the record, I knew all this before I bought the eGPU, but I also read that there's workarounds. People actually made it work. So I followed this instruction on eGPU.io, of which I will put a link down in the description below. eGPU.io is an amazing forum, but unfortunately, this guy didn't work for me. So according to the instruction, I uninstalled the Radeon discrete driver using the display drive uninstaller, then installed the refined boot manager, and downloaded the Apple set OS EFI file. So the whole point of this hack is to use refine to select the Apple set OS EFI as a boot option, tricking the laptop that it is booting into Mac, but actually Windows. And this is where it got wrong. I couldn't get refined to work. I rebooted several times, but it didn't work out. Then I found another way to work around the refine using a USB stick, of which the guy also has a link down below. Just when I was setting up the USB stick, the screen just went black. Then I tried to reboot. It showed me this file icon with a question mark blinking. Then I tried to boot into recovery mode, it told me to connect the internet. This is when I suspect that my entire hard drive could be emptied, cause otherwise it wouldn't need Wi-Fi connection to get into recovery mode. And I think I was right, cause what came next was nearly half an hour of waiting. I think it was downloading the files that recovery mode needed. When I finally got into recovery mode, I realized that things were even worse. I couldn't reinstall macOS, I couldn't even restore a time machine backup. This is when I realized that not only my hard drive was emptied, but the entire file system is just corrupted. <laughs> the entire hard drive is just a mess now. To this point, I didn't really know anything else to do but to grab my laptop and run to the nearest Apple store for help. Luckily, I got it back working perfectly six hours later. So in this unfortunate experience, the only fortunate thing that ever happened is I did a time machine backup four days before everything went messy. Like I, I, I would be doomed if I hadn't done that backup. After this, I completely gave up the thought to make this setup work. I may just get a decent monitor in the future. So I'm gonna give you my ultimate advice. If your computer is working fine, don't fix it. And if you have to, proceed with great caution and before everything, this is very important, back up everything. I mean, everything. So that's it for this video. I hope what I shared could be useful to you guys. Uh, not in the bad way. Well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.